Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Pick here again and today I want to do a bit of theorizing about potentially new archetypes we could see coming to Remnant 2 in the future and I'd love to hear from you guys as well and make this more of a conversation, talk about what archetypes and classes you would like to see entering the game in the future. But keep a couple things in mind. First off, Gunfire Games hasn't specifically confirmed that we are getting additional archetypes. However, they have spoken about wanting multiple archetypes to enter the game after the initial launch. We got the first one with the Ritualist in DLC 1, so I would be shocked if we don't have another one in either DLC 2 or DLC 3. Maybe not both, but we'll have to wait and see. And then, as they've spoken about additional DLC after DLC 3, I think that just leads to more ideas for archetypes coming down the pipeline eventually and i think it's pretty sure that we will see one even though we don't have any indication on what it is at this point so jumping right into my three that i would love to see in the game personally the first one would be a barbarian type class this would be a frontline tank character who you can make them unarmed because there's already a ring specifically that benefits unarmed combat. We could add additional items that benefit unarmed combat, but also low armor. They've rearranged how armor works. So having a frontline character that doesn't have heavy tanky armor could be really cool. Kind of the opposite effect of the challenger who benefits from having that heavier armor. And this character could get certain bonuses and buffs based on not having heavy armor on the lighter armor they have the less encumbrance they have the better that their armor essentially is they could have a specific trait that focuses on that and then ultimately could be a frontline character that is really tanky but doesn't rely on heavy armor and that would be really really cool to see again if it's a character who can benefit from maybe having one of their slots open so they have an unarmed attack maybe you don't have a melee weapon but you can do a, a juiced up melee attack with one of your skills that could be a very very good option and i would love to see it a meteor punch <laughs> i don't know what they would do in that case honestly but it's something that i think could have a lot of potential and if done correctly would be a nice counter to ritualist which is more of like almost like a mage character a long distance type with the dot effects this character could be in your face very melee heavy maybe push in like a berserk or rage type effect as well where they get additional bonuses by activating their skill all of this could really work well in remnant 2 i believe and even though melee builds are hit or miss at times i think there's a lot of potential for this to be a lot of fun especially if you give the unarmed attack with the skill a little bit of range so that way you can hit flying bosses and the like i think that would be really really nice to see so anyway that's the first one that's the one that i think would fit the best especially as a second archetype because it is so much different from the ritualist and really a counter to not wanting to only play challenger as a tank type character so that's really really cool and something that i would love to see the second one that i would propose is a time mage of sorts this character would really focus on slowing and hasting so you could really see a lot of bump in usage from like slow effects you could put slow effects on enemies this would be a well-rounded versatile class that could assist in especially if you had a survival type mode entering the game say we do get the survivor mode from remnant from the ashes or something similar to that and then we have a character who is able to slow down groups of enemies i think that could work really really well together this would be because it's more of like a wizard type character you could see it being too close to the ritualist and not maybe being the next in line but i do think it's something that would see a lot of usage and would be a character that would be hugely beneficial if you're playing co-op for sure and that's one thing that i would love to see another and the third one that I wanted to mention that I think would really benefit in co-op is a bard type character. And this would be good solo with the teammates. So this character would be focused on buffs. Not healing, 
but buffs like attack buffs, defense buffs, and the like. I know we already kind of you have that a little bit with the handler, and you can use your dog for like an attack buff or whatever. But these would be different and really could be more customized to buffing up your class as much as possible. Now, this one I'm a little bit less sure on compared to the other two, just because I feel like it's a good concept. I don't know if it really shines as much in Remnant 2, but was on when I was looking at other potential options and things that maybe we've seen in other games or could be potential you could have like a technomancer type which would be like almost like a, a tech wizard essentially you could have something like that that i think could be really cool but i don't know if it would be too similar to like an engineer type class so that's really where coming up with new ideas that are unique and separate from what we already have in the game, but also would be beneficial and not just a uh, meme archetype. Cause that's something that really is hard to avoid as well because you have care, you have archetypes that are like the Explorer, which are useful for exploring, but not really seen a lot when it comes to the moment to moment gameplay or taking on bosses or the like. So that's where, I, I want to avoid that as much as possible. I want things to be as useful as they possibly can. Obviously, the Ritualist has really seen a lot of love, which I really enjoy. And I want the next couple archetypes to see that same amount of love. That's why I think a Barbarian type would be the best, in my opinion, and would see a lot of usage. But again, a Time Mage, I think, also would be pretty sick. And a Bard... Uh, who doesn't love bards in games? You could have them kind of shouting out effects and everything like that for their different abilities. I think that could be really, really cool. And the ability to add all these different skills and traits and stuff like that would likely change the game quite a bit as well, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to see what Gunfire Games has in store next. I'd love to see kind of a preview eventually sooner than later of the next archetype but i know that's some ways away we just got the most recent archetype with the um the awakened king which i really really enjoyed and i'm glad we have that but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel helps me out tremendously shows you want to see more remnant 2 content from me in the future my name is jopa have a good one and i'll catch you all later